Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture what we will do is that we will learn how the Android app actually works and what we will do is that we will basically modify this current app to a little bit of different app so essentially in a way you could say that we will be creating our very first Android app. So let's first understand how the Android application actually works when we actually run this app. So as I mentioned, the main logic or the main brain of your Android application lies in this main activity .java file. So when you run this application for the very first time, what happens is that the code execution starts from the main activity .java class. So if you have a look at this Java class right here, as you could see, we have the main activity extend the app compact activity and in here you have the most important method or the main method which is the on create method so what this on create method does is that if you have a look at the second line which is set content view which is r dot layout dot activity main the set content view method actually sets the view of your android app so if you have a look at here, it actually sets the content view to r.layout.activity.main. So r essentially means the resources folder. So if you go to resources folder, as you could see in the resources folder, you have the layout folder as well. So if you go in the layout folder, you will have the activity main.xml. So if you click on it, so this file is essentially the layout file which we have. So what this activity does is that it basically sets the layout to this particular layout right here. That means if you want to change your app, you need to change this particular layout. Now, as I earlier mentioned, what you could do is that you could simply change the layout by dragging and dropping elements on here. So if suppose you want to move this hello world to some other position, you could simply drag this thing and you could place it anywhere you want. But another way or the more efficient and easy way to do that would be by modifying the code. So if you go to text over here, as you could see, you will be able to see the code here. And let's first understand what this code actually means. As you could see, when you make changes to the code, the relevant changes are going to appear over here. And if you don't have this thing shown up on your computer, then the reason for that would be uh, you have not clicked the preview window so there is actually an option of preview over here so in case if it's unchecked you won't be able to see any preview over here so you simply need to click that and you'll be able to have a nice preview of your application over here okay so let's get back to the main point so the main point here was to understand this xml code right here so as i mentioned this thing is called as a layout because things or elements are laid out on this particular layout now you have to specify what kind of layout do you want to use for your application so as you could see from this tag you could make out that this is a relative relative layout and relative layout is essentially a layout which places the elements relative to each other so as you could see the relative layout tag starts from here and it ends over here so this is the entire layout and this text view right here is nothing but this little element which we have over here so if you entirely delete this text view as you could see the element over here disappeared as well so now we will learn how to add our very own text view to this particular layout so what you could do is that you could type in text view so if this code appears you could hit enter and that will automatically complete the code for you so when you specify text view over here it's going to ask you for the layout width and the layout height that is basically what size do you want to set this text view to so we will use wrap content over here so if you hit enter it is automatically going to fill it up with wrap content and wrap content and what wrap content essentially means is that you want to fill up the layout equal to the size of the text that particular text view is going to have so if you keep on adding text to the text view the size of the layout is going to grow continuously now the next thing which you need to do is that you do need to specify what type of text do you want to display in this text view. So in order to specify that property you could type in android colon and then you could type in text and we could type this equals and in quotations you could specify some text like let's say hello world. So as you could see as you make changes to this particular text views the text over here in your layout changes as well now this is how you could do it from the code and if you actually want to make modifications from the design view what you could do is that you could simply take a text view if you want to add so let me first delete this text view 
So I'm going to entirely delete this and now we will learn another way of adding a text view that is by using these widgets. So if you scroll to the top, this is a text view right here. You could simply drag this thing up and drop it anywhere you want. So let's say you want to drop it over here. So as you could see, you now have the text view over here. And if you want to change the text of this text view, you could simply select this. And if you go to the right hand side corner, as you could see, the properties of the text view are set over here. So the layout width is set to wrap content, the layout height is set to wrap content, and the text is set to text view. So what you could do is that you could simply select this thing and change the text view to let's say, hello world. So now as you could see, the text view text has been changed to hello world. And if you want to align this thing to center, what you could simply do is that you could select it, bring it back over here in the middle, and that's absolutely going to fit well. Now let's assume that you actually want to change the background of your layout. So in that case, what you could do is that you could go to the XML code and in here in background, you could specify any color which you want. So you could basically type in Android background and you could set the color to any of any color of your choice. So that's going to be any value. So let's say that is FF5567. So as you could see, I have set the color to this particular value, which is kind of a pinkish color. So that's how you could basically go ahead and change the layout of your Android application. So this was just to give you guys an idea of how to basically go ahead and change the layout of your application. Now in the next lecture, what we will do is that we will learn the logical part of your application. That is basically how to go ahead and add some logic to your application. So in the next lecture, what we will do is that we will go ahead and learn uh, how you could add up a button to this particular application and when you click this particular button the text on your application is going to change so that's it for this lecture and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you